traffic, I guess because of the hours, perhaps after 4 or 5 p.m. there are more people. But I'm very impressed with the fact that all the stands have been taken and the very good products have been exhibited here. Yes, in, in terms of organization, what is, what, how do you see this? Of one to ten, okay. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> okay, now let's let's um, you, you touch something very important in terms of uh, the drive by the president to ensure that the chamber movement is giving them um, some kind of support. Um, could you give us a little bit of insight into what the change agenda is in this respect? Um, well, you know, the change agenda is focused on three main issues security, anti corruption, and economy. We have the issues of economy, we are looking at all the policies that are in place. We do not intend to change policies because we have already been accused of policy somersault. But then there are some things that have worked or have been abused and we need to review them and make them better so that Nigerians can enjoy some of these incentives that government has put in place. I've already announced that uh, the President has also approved the establishment of a presidential council on enabling doing this step. This is to ensure that um, people who are coming from outside are able to come into Nigeria quickly and get all their business or expression, their land documentation and so on done within a record time. The World Bank has banked us 169 out of 189 and we hope by 2017 we will have moved 20 steps up. Also in terms of for the SMEs, we're doing a lot of review and uh, discussions are ongoing for us to see how we can make it easier. I'm sure you heard me talking to the FIRS desk, saying to them, what are they doing for SMEs to solve all this double taxation? We have local government, we have state, we have federal, and a poor SME that just trying to get on their feet cannot be paying all these taxes. So we're also working around these areas. We're also trying to see what we can do with the common facilities that we have. Spiden has 22 IDCs. There are a couple of common facilities. We have one in Aba and we have one in Lagos. The one in Aba is for the shoe, the shoe making, and the one in Lagos is for garmenting. So we're trying to see what we can do to enhance what all these common facilities and then replicate, replicate them across the country. Okay, now we know that um, oil. It's not uh, the main of the color, <laughs> which just leaves that now. Now, we are talking about make it in Nigeria, and that is basically to look inward. I, I sometimes I feel that even the recession sometimes could be blessing, if well handled. <laughs> you know, so what are we doing? Last question. Yes, so what are we doing to ensure that we, uh, you know, monetize this situation? Well, for, for starters, the economic change that we're going through now is a good one for us because then now we're, we're being forced to be more creative and innovative in the things that we're doing. We're looking at the things that we've abandoned for so long. So this is going to do the what we call the ministry, the backward generation. So we'll go back to the farms to produce our own goods, we we'll use them as raw materials, we will do the value addition and we will export our own goods. Mm. Yes. I say thank you very much. <laughs> That's great.